Christmas dinner, enough, no more. If I see one more Brussels sprout, pig in blanket, I will scream like a little girl, no way. So anyway, do you ever have this, guys and girls? And I, you know, you can eat this all year round. Um, it's been a bit of a tradition with my family. I like to keep this um, for, for a Christmas dinner, as Christmas treat. So that is cold meat, mash and pickle. I eat turkey, beef, whatever you've done over Christmas. You know, you're gonna make a curry with it or something like that, or a stew, the cold meat, mash and pickle. So I have on the plate here, I've got some pickled beetroots, uh, some little cornichon gherkins, um, silver skin onions, you gotta love them, um, and oh, pickled cabbage, red cabbage with mash is wonderful. Meats, I've got the rest of the uh, turkey left over. It's the last time I'm gonna eat it for a while, I'll tell you that now. And I've got some beautiful roasted lamb, which is still warm, so this one ain't exactly cold. Uh, I've roasted that off. He's over here. <laughs> Move over, he's over here. He's going in a Rogan Josh tomorrow. So uh, then Rogan Josh for dinner tomorrow, lovely. Uh, but that's not gonna be tomorrow's video. It's gonna be something really gnarly. So normally I would just cake my mash in white pepper. It is just the perfect thing for mash with this. And you've got the acidity of the pickles and the white pepper spice and all that. This is lovely. Um, but I don't need to today because I'm gonna try this dip I've had for a while. Okay, this is bunny chow. Bunny chow I've got from Aussie Hot Sauces. It's come uh, from Australia. Um, let's read out what it says on here. Okay, I'll see better without those. So before you ask, no, it's not a ra uh, rabbit food, nor were any bunnies harmed in the making of this dip. A deliciously hot and spicy bunny chow takes its name from Durban's favourite fast food Indian curry in a loaf of bread. It also says, although there are many stories of its origin, our favourite is the one about gold caddies using hallowed out loaves as a container for their lunch. Slaver bunny chow all over burgers, sandwiches, or simply add it add to any uh, meal to satisfy your curry cravings. So this is going to be a bit different, isn't it? it well, let's go with the ingredients. Um, it just says chili. Doesn't say what chilies are in it. Chili, water, carrot, lime juice, honey, olive oil, onion, sea salt, garlic, cumin, turmeric. Arrow, arrowroot, don't know if I've ever read that. Um, paprika, caraway, coriander, fenugreek, cumin. Uh, that's it. It says refrigerate after opening. And it has got a gold medal award. So yeah, this is a company called the Chili Effect, by the way. Um, I've had a couple of sauces from them, they're really delicious. I just thought we'd make a change, just stick something different on the side of the plate. So, and here we go, this is the bit where I can't open the lid. Get it opened. God, wow. It's like a Mr. Vicky's thing. Very really thick. Really, really uh, spicy full of spices and all those sort of curry type spices. This is gonna be nice. You know what, this, I know they're saying this is a dip. You can make a curry out of this, honestly. So let's plonk this on the side of the plate. I'm not afraid. I'm going with a couple of good dollops of that. because I think that's gonna be a real nice additive. I think the lamb will go well with it. 
and the mashed potato. So it's something different, isn't it? Anyway, bunny chow. Don't roll away, you uh, little pickle beetroot, I want you. Bunny chow. So, you know what pickles taste like, so uh, we'll just go straight in with the bunny chow. Do a bit of turkey first. Bit of turkey, bit of bunny chow on top. This is gonna be nice, you know? Don't fall off the fork. Make me look an idiot. I do enough of that myself, so. Bunny chow and turkey. Oh, it's really nice. Really good. Mm -hmm. Goes really well. The only criticism I've got is some of the spices that aren't ground as well as I would do it. So you've got a little bit of a crunch here and there. You might get a hard one, and such is life. I've made plenty of curries where I haven't ground up my garam masala properly. It's not the end of the world. So this is it on a piece of lamb. Bunny chow on roasted lamb. Not long out of the oven. Much better on the lamb, all day long. All day long. Right, I've got some nice uh, buttery mashed potato here. It's all an experiment, all this sort of thing. Bunny chow, a mashed potato. Go. Oh. Again, very nice. I've let my mash go cold, by the way. Um, very nice. It went better with the lamb um, than anything, but I'm glad that's on the side of the plate and um, I'm gonna demolish that. No, I'm not gonna stick a pickle in there. But I'm gonna eat one before I go. Nice beetroot, honestly. Um, very nice. Go to Aussie hot sauces if you want to get hold of this bunny jam. Little bunny rabbit there. Um, yeah, if I had uh, a loaf of bread that was hollowed out, I would certainly chuck that in the middle of it um, with some other ingredients. Um, so, yeah, I like that. I'm going to carry on with this. I'm not going to add all that white pepper over the mash. I'm just going to use the bunny chow as the spice for this one and uh, enjoy the dinner. I'll be back tomorrow with probably something very gnarly. Um, so yeah, I'm building myself up for that. Right, I've been TJ Burns. Leave a comment in the comments box for me and I'll get back to you and like, share, subscribe will be nice. Haven't had any subscribers for a while, so it'd be nice to see a few people come on board. Um, but hopefully, in 2020, things will pick up. I'm going to make improvements to the channel and all that, so uh, I can only do my best. But I'll keep plugging away. Okay. Um, I'm just happy to be here with what I've got at the moment, and um, you know, some of you people are really, really interested in all of this, as am I. Uh, so, uh, roll on 2020. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.